coming home tonight We're living quick in this world Gonna get it right now People talk and tell what you wanna hear now But they all disappear They will let you down We got love Cause we got love You wanna get to me close Why don't you do it right now You know we met for a reason But you tried to deny That we should be together it's heavy weather we're heading for tonight You better take what you can cause the time is right now We only need the two of us together We only need the two of us together We only need the two of us together Hey, this is Ronald Carroll from Mad Skills University. And today, I want to give you a pro tip on how I created this wedding video demo. I've received many requests over the last two or three years I've been doing this about wedding videos and other event videos. So I decided to put this together. And initially, I thought it was for DaVinci Resolve 18, so I did that. But it turned out my latest request was for Femora 12. So I did both. I did one for Femora 12. You can check it out link below or above and then of course I did this one for DaVinci Resolve 18. When I do stuff like this what I want to do is put together a story and create my storyboard. I provided you with all the assets you're going to need for this lesson and they're numbered in order as they come in 1 through 18 I think in total and the song I used is called I Need Only You by Love Beans. And what we're going to do first is bring in our video assets in order. And they came from Pixabay and Pexels.com. And in this case, I have other videos on DaVinci Resolve 17 and 18, how to do color correction as well as color matching, if you want to match all these colors. We're not going to go over that today. Once I line them all in, of course, the goal now is to get them where they fit within a three-minute marker here. And then we can worry about how the video changes correspond to the lyrics of the song or the beats or whatever. And I have other videos below on how to do different types of romantic videos like Don't Need Anyone Else. I did that. That's linked below. And I also did rap videos as well too. Clean rap videos. So anyway, first thing I want to do is look at transformation and direction of video clips. So I'm going to grab it and scrub. So as we see, this one has black lines, so I need to transform that to make sure everything flushes out and fills the frame totally. And just scrub down, and there's another one where the church is, so we have to get rid of those black lines. But I'm going to go down to this one because we have the transformation, but we also have a directional problem here. I want continuity in my videos, especially videos like this. 
and I want everything to go left to right or right to left or up and down and they have to go in the same direction unless I want to change it up for a reason. In this case, my more of my hero video here is going to be this one and it goes right to left. But if I go over here, this one goes left to right. So I need to click on that and then go over here to inspector and of course go right here and click that. So now it's going right to left. Then we just go click over here on the drop down menu, go to transform and we can scroll down and now we can grab the end here. Make sure we're kind of outside of the frame there. Scroll back up and then turn this off and then do that for all the videos that need to be transformed. So once you have that, now we're almost done. Now we just have to chop this thing up so it fits within the three minute song. The biggest one is here. And what I did down here is simple. All I want to see on this, and we did a lot of what we call jump cutting. I started it where they cut the cake. Then we jumped to where they fed each other. And then we jumped to where they kissed. So that's all we did here. One, two, three. And that got rid of a lot of this. At that point, we had some videos where we had to cut them or shorten them. Like this got shortened to like right there. And then back here, I wanted them to throw the flowers. And then stop that. And I cut it. And I sped this up. And I'll show you that. Then I let it play. And once she touches her forehead, and then it got cut again right there. Here, when she's walking down the aisle, I cut this about right there. A little bit too long. On this clip, this had to be cut when it went white. Cut that there and shorten it up a little. Right, so those are some of the cuts I remember making. They were pretty obvious. Some of these clips I had to slow down so they went longer. And I'll show you that too. But that's it. And that's how I got this down to where it fit in here. You, if you're following me, you can just make the cuts and see what I did here. And just count with me. So if you're looking at something I'm doing, going, okay, hold that for one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Just look at the counts and then match the counts up. But we want to make sure we match up the words to a new video clip as well. So now that we know how we did that, I can get rid of this. Now we can just work on what we did here. Let's go to our font. And the font I used was called Wedding Day. I got it from 1001fonts.com or DevFont. I think it's 1001, but I linked them both below. And this is the font, Wedding Day. If you go to Google Fonts or anywhere and just type in wedding, you'll get what you want. But the most popular font for weddings are going to be calligraphy and script. But just type in wedding and you'll get a lot of options from 1001fonts.com, that's for sure. You can have it fade in whatever you want to do. I just did a slight fade on that. No big deal. Let's take care of these top clips up here. So if you go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 4B is the top, track 2. And then 9, I have top clips. Let's turn these on. What I did with these is use compositing. And this is soft light. But in the video, I use screen. And on this one, let's click on that. We have screen. Dial down a little bit. So play around with whatever you want to do here. And then this screen, I dialed it all the way up. That's why I cut that clip right there. That covers the top clips. And covers the text, right? So now we have the videos. So let's start from the beginning. I'm going to try to show you just the effects I use so you know how I cut this up. So if I go to the first one, we have a transition right here. And that's a bright flash. That's what you're seeing here. If you click on this video clip, second one. Look up here to transitions, you're going to see a cross dissolve. If I go over to effects, I'm going to see a light rays right there. So this is going to be light rays. I'm going to make sure it's on bright regions. This is an open FX. 
effect. If I go over here, we have a cross dissolve. Over here, we have a luma wipe. We have another effect, light rays. So you're seeing the light rays, you're seeing the luma effect there. But I change this one to edges. So this one was bright regions. This one is edges. Transition, Luma wipe. Over here, we have a drop warp. Over here, same thing and no effects over here. Here's a side right. So. So there's your drop warp right there. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So there's your basic compositing. And again, this is your drop warp right here. And if I keep going. I had a transition here. I'm not sure what it was. I don't know what happened to it. And that, a side right. That's the effect right there. And let's scroll down. Transition, foreground wipe. That's what that is. We better stick together. Click on this one. Cross dissolve. Right here. Two different types of compositing. So if I go over here, we have screen halfway dialed in. Go over here. I pulled it back a little bit. Now this video clip here, I actually slowed it down. So they stayed in the frame longer. So this chorus section here. We only need the two of us together. Right clicked on it. And I went up here to change speed and put it to 50% to slow it down. And that's how you can make clips fit in terms of uh, certain lyrics or beats when it comes to music. You can speed the clip up or slow it down. We only need the two of us together. And this I wanted to change. Cause we got zoom transition there and then here click on this transition we have an effect slide up right so play. that's how we cut that this is a hard cut and you want to have levity or a little bit of laughter in a video if you can get it this transition right here It's just your film strip. And then this one right here. We only need the two. Cross dissolve. Let's go down. We only need the two. Right, cross dissolve. And then we're going to have none. Additive dissolve right there. We got That's pretty much how. I did the video and those are the different effects that I use. But play around with the ones you like. And then the song just, I faded that in. I also used quite a few fade ins and fade outs as you can see. And you can see the big fade here and the fade here on the music. And then down here, let's turn this off for a second. All I did was find some wind and water. And then, of course, when you mention the church, you have bells. And then here, we start with just a wedding song. And over here, and this is levity as well, when she spins around so much that she gets dizzy. And I cut the audio in the beginning and brought it in late because it has a lot of wind in the background. And I did not want to go into fair light and de-winded and all that. So that's pretty much it and that's how I put this together. 
it's really easy to do. And again, if you're using Femora 12, there's a link below for how I did it in Femora 12. If you're looking at other DaVinci Resolve videos, especially commercials, I have a Ferrari commercial. I also have a catwalk music video. I have other videos, don't need anyone else, that I did with a lot of compositing. And then there is, of course, some clean rap videos as well, too. So check them out. And DaVinci Resolve 18 and Filmora 12. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Please like this video, subscribe, share. I'm wishing you a great and creative day.